you are going to use the disco tool for purchase order changes okay so what we are going to do we go to windows search and we go to i mean windows 10 and i click disco okay so here and here we already did the vendor master thing that's why it's showing so you can click on open file and i'll do po changes that's what we have okay so here is the PO change. The first thing you have to find is the ID. So ID is the case, case this is the purchase order number, simple, okay. The next thing is the timestamp, okay. So you click on the timestamp and you have it and it's already, since it's the same format, it already does it. So you don't have to type anything, okay. This is one which we did. The third one will be the resource. So this is the resource and the fourth one is the activity so it's already done now what we have to do is we can click on start report okay so now here we see so if you see all these things here the purchase order comes seven times the purchase acquisition number is added three times then it moves down and you see there is a big change there continuously changing the dollar values they're changing the price this should this is not good when you are changing the price all the time that means there's something wrong you don't have a negotiated price and the price and if the price is more which is in this case always then it's a wrong there's something wrong because here the buyer is not doing what they should be doing they shouldn't be changing the price and increasing the price that means we have not got a good RFQ, but we don't have a preferred vendor uh, that will give me uh, something at a reasonable price. You know, it's fine if the price goes down, but if the price is going up, that's not good. And if you see all these changes are making the value in document currency is, unique, is increasing, which is not good. Another thing we see is the invoicing party, the the pi vendor is changing which is also not good you know that means your vendor master is messed up or the p or the or the po is not created with the correct vendor pi which is which is wrong you know you can automate it because every time you change this you see this so every time you're changing so 578 times it's been changed uh, that means someone has to do something manually which should be automated okay now we can make it bigger and you can see all these things and you can see more stuff coming more paths coming so here if you see so the paths are here so let's make it bigger because this graph is a small one okay you see so the first process is the po gets cre created or every time you have the po this invoicing party 467 times the invoicing party gets changed 67 it's getting changed over over and over again okay 77 times the po gets created the price net price gets changed here you see then the purchase acquisition number is being added four times which is understandable okay 1178 times the net value is changing okay these are all changes that i'm talking about so after the invoicing party changes ooh, this is this is not good you after the invoicing because this these are not good for audit purpose Yo, you're changing the vendor and then you're changing the price are you all related so these things are not good so if you see again the net price again gets changed 662 times that's not good at all then you have the gross value changes okay because of the net price this is changing then after you change the gross value again this 29 times it's getting changed and then after doing all these things it's coming here that's not good this is not really good so this is something they don't have a control they don't have purchase info record you can automate some of the pricing you need to check the pricing and also we need to check if it's an inventory item why they are buying from different vendors because you see all these things that means the vendor master doesn't have something is wrong they're trying to create with the because when you change the pi vendor it's a little dodgy because uh, i'm just giving an example ge can have multiple 
family of vendors, but still, you know, you can correct it when you're creating the PO. So that's not good because imagine you create a PO for GE and you did it for GE oil, and then you're trying to use the same PO for other GEs or GE chemicals. You shouldn't be doing it because then you're not getting the right price. And that shows because if you see, the prices are changing all the time. So this is not good. This is not at all good. This is not a good process. You know, if you click on this, you can see the case frequency. Oh, see here, the case frequency is this, the absolute frequency. So there's low duplicates. Oh my God, there. And so th this process says that this is messed up. I'm sorry. So if you notice here, if I look at the absolute frequency, so this is, this is reasonable. And uh, let's see this one, how many times? Well, this is also reasonable, okay? But uh, you know, if you notice when this happens, so uh, let's do the math here. For 578 minus 511 is 67. So whenever you have this process, so look at this one. Uh, so 437, 402 case frequencies, okay? And then you have this one, so this is also uh, I, I'm I'm worried about this because this this is changing a lot. Look at the case frequency. So maximum reputation is 250. Ooh. That's not good. That's not at all good. That's not. That's see maximum reputation is eight. So eight times that has been changed. Ooh. Uh, how many times this has been changed? Ten times. But the price, look at this, 250 times the price has been changed. So something is wrong. The, either they are not looking or there is an automatic process or something is wrong. So this this should create an alarm for you, okay? And this is live data, you know. Now, if you go to the statistics here, you can see all these PO numbers. You can see the events. You can see, so here you can see the statistics, okay? So here... You can see, oh, in, during this time, I think before that, there was, this is new data. So here you can see active active cases over time. Okay, so there are lots of active cases during this time. Case variance, let's go to the case variance. Okay, so number of case variance, number of cases. Oh, this is, now events per case. Okay, what are the changes? This is probably the price change, case duration, these are these. Let's go to the let's go to the activity. Mm -hmm. So if you notice the activity, net value in document price, net price is changing. That's not good. Twenty one point nine percent, thirty seven percent, net value is changing because the quantity is changing, and this is also not good. Ten point seven four. That means your vendor master is messed up. Probably we saw in the vendor master data they were putting blocks here and there probably that's that may be the reason you know so that can be one of the reasons this is this this and then you can click on the first in case the first in case so all the time this is this you change this data that's that's not good so then what you can do is we click on the resource so these are the people who are making the changes it's always user five so probably he needs training or he or she needs training that, hey, why you are changing this? And then there's other attributes that, you know, these are the dollar amount. We can we can uh, put it there also. And now if you go to the case, and these are the duration, if you see the complete, the variant one. Okay, so we can see all these things. Look at this, variant three. So variant one is net value changes, okay, by a user to 412 cases. It tells this is the invoicing party by user one. Always this person is changing. Probably it's an accounts payable person who is changing after the fact. Uh, well, you know, these are not good things. So here you can see, you can, you can click on this. So here you can see all this invoicing party changes. You can see all these events. These are some of these. So you have variance here. You see, net value with the gross value is changing. Net value, net price, gross value is changing also. So these are not good things, you know. And uh, this, this, this is something that is alarming. 
and here you have some other variants you can think of so these are very nice stuff that you can think of now let's click on this you have this case complete log look at this this event uh, let's put the statistics and go to the map so yeah this is this is this is not good let's put the graph i love the graph piece where i have three events so let's click on the three events so net value price changes at this time and then the net price and the gross value changes so let's see some more events this five events so you see net value gross value this and then they're changing multiple times this is this is not good and then they are changing if you see oh this is alarming because they're changing the price and then they're changing the invoicing party this, there needs to be some problem there's big problem there if you see so this is this is uh, this is something that needs to be worked on now let's check so we did the uh, frequency let's to check the performance so the performance if you see they are changing uh, the median duration is 20 20.8 20 hours okay so the mean duration 8.4 days okay now let's see this change uh, this is uh, let's see let's see this one so it's 7.5 days so they're creating the PO and then they're making changes that's not good um, so this 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 have some durations also 3.4 17 days uh, 3.4 days mean durations so all these dates are this duration also tells you uh, what are the changes they are doing and all those things another good thing would be uh, how much time they take to change a p rec to a po so that you can calculate that would be a wonderful one uh, that's another one that you know i just gave you an idea okay so that you can use so so here you can see the median duration okay so seven so here you can search for maximum duration maximum duration to both mansu so total duration let's go to the frequency okay and we see the case frequency if you see the case frequency so the case frequency this is the absolute frequency and maximum reputation so you see all these are repetitive so that's not good so let's go to the absolute and we'll see the wonderful animation part okay so we'll see the animation the problem is the animation is mostly on the on the latest stage so let's just move this a little down here and we will see from oops let's see the animation and we can make it faster a little let's make it faster so it's faster now okay animation is open if you notice so the invoicing party and let's move it down because it's here this would be we will make it slow you see oh the invoicing party all the time is changing these are changing the gross value is changing the net value is changing oh this is wonderful and you can see oh this gross value changes net value changes here yeah, because if you change the gross value the net value will change but then the net price is changing that's that's creating all these things that's that's doing all these naughty things those are things you need to take care of so this is very this is very interesting i like it and let's do the animation for another way so probably we can do the animation for the performance Ooh, let's see the performance animation and we can just move it here very slowly let's see the performance animation oh see you see so the invoicing party just changed fast so you you know the performance animation will not work but i'm just giving an overview where i gave you a real real case where how much time it takes to convert a PDEC to a PO. any anything which is or another can be how much time it takes for a render from the time we get an invoice to a time we post an invoice so that can also be done so those are things which you can build it uh, so this is something that is about the po change we saw there's some alarming features alarming stuff you can see all these things you can go to the steps you know 
And again, let's do the export part. Mm -hmm. So you can export it in a JPEG. Let's export it in a JPEG. And we'll put, uh, uh, mm, show that. I don't know. Let's put it and we'll see how it looks. So let's go to this folder. And here you see it. And again, this is created from Fluxicon. So that's why they have the logo. Okay. Uh, so you can see all this, but you can hide it later on if you want. Okay. Uh, so this is something very interesting for PO change. And later I will cover work order and invoice.